Hello friends, welcome to a school server tutorial. In this sub series, we are talking about the index maintenance. In this specific video, we will check the index fragmentation and our goal is to get the fragmented index names. Uh, the fragmented index in the sense here we will get the uh, index that is fragmented more than 30 percent so we already talked about uh, index creation and we talked about um, clustered and non-clustered indexes so if you want to know how to create index you can watch the sub series uh, uh, so the index is sub series so we know that index will be fragmented by means of insert update as well as delete statements after using this DML heavily, the performance will get reduced gradually. So how fast depends on the DML frequency. So if in a day there will be 10,000 DML statement or it can be 20 million DML statement. So it depends on uh, the frequency of a DML statement. So when you use index heavily, then it will get fragmented. Um, scanning the index, that means uh, uh, when you are uh, selecting the data using the index, the time you won't get any penalty in terms of fragmentation. But the DML statements, like already told, insert, update, and delete on the indexed column will cause the damage. To know the fragmentation level, we can use the table valued function and the function name is DM data management, DM DB index physical stats. So this will give the statistics of index and from these statistics we can get the index fragmentation. To know the index name we can use the sys index. So this is the schema and from there we can use the indexes and this view and the uh, table valued function both will give us the required result so the above mentioned function call this one and the view the view is sys indexes they both can be joined to query the fragmented index so this is a table valued function that means when you execute this function it will return row and column of data or simply it will return a table we haven't yet learned uh, about the table valued function and in the few coming sub series um, we will learn about creating the functions and how to return table from the function so when a function returns table we call that as a table valued function so these are all the two entity right one is the table valued function that will return table of data and there is a view that will also have rows and columns of data right so if you see both will have index id column and we will use that as a mapping column and so from this um, table valued function we will get the statistics and from the uh, sys indexes we will get other index related details so from the view sys indexes 
we can query the following fields so index id index id will be there in both uh, table valued function return value as well as the sys indexes view so the id given to the index which is unique for a given object right so that's the index id object id the object which contains the index so that's what object id so here you will get index related information and a table contains a index right so using the object id you will get the containing object so this is the index object id will give you the table name actually then name gives the name of the index type description tells the type of the index so useful to know whether the index is a clustered or a non clustered one so the is disabled flag tells whether index is in enabled state or disabled state so when you are retrieving the statistics it will be useful to know whether it is in enabled state or in disabled state so if index is in a disabled state we no need to uh, defragment it or we no need to consider that index so whatever index is enabled and if its fragmentation is more than 30 percent we can take the action so from yes dmdb index physical stats function we can get fragmentation statistics the function accepts the following parameter this is our table valued function right so database id tells which db to run and collect index so this is one parameter we have to pass and in our example we will either use pubs or northwind database if you have adventure work you can also try with adventure work database object id has already told it denotes a table or view for which index is created so if you doesn't specify object id then the statistics for uh, the whole object will be collected that means if there are uh, uh, 20 tables and four views on a specific database all the objects are visited and their index will be scanned to collect the statistics index id id of the index within the uh, object id so say for example if there is a table that will be given an id uh, let's state 12 inside that if we have two index you can get both and using the index id you can tell what index it is partition number we already learned about a table partition so if a table is split into multiple partition and you can get which part of the table partition uh, contains more fragmented index so the index may be same but like since the table is partitioned and the index also so this will be useful to know the uh, which partition of the table is causing the trouble on the index or which partition of the table is um, uh, most frequently accessed in terms of dml statements thereby causing more fragmentation on the index mode so here it tells how to collect the index uh, statistics so limited sampled and detailed so the default is limited so detailed means it will collect more information about the index i mean the statistics information the above function returns a table with uh, multiple column values which includes object id and index id so this is helpful to make join with the sys indexes in the previous slide we saw we will use the index id and 
we can perform the join object id is useful to know uh, the index is part of which object or which table or which view so that we can say using this object id the more important field is average fragmentation in percentage so here the purpose of this function is to collect statistics and this is the key column and average fragmentation in percentage which gives the index fragmentation in percentage so you can decide you want to defragment the index when it is more than 10 percent or more than 20 percent or 30 so you can decide based on your dbs advice the field fragment count tells number of fragmentation at leaf node level so these two are important fields so this tells in terms of percentage and here you will get fragmentation in terms of count so on the last side slide we saw right the fragmentation will split the content or data structure into multiple pages so the count tells how deep the fragmentation is so here we can get statistics select from here if you see select from this one is our table valued function is dm underscore db underscore index underscore physical stats and in this example if you see we are making use of db id and passing the string adventure works this will give us the database id so that's the first parameter for first parameter we use the db underscore id and pass our db name for remaining stuff we are passing the defaults because we want to visit all the indexes right that's why we are passing default for all four parameters one two three four for all these four parameters we are passing the default but if you want to examine a specific index you can pass the uh, specific object id and index id that way you can examine a specific uh, index next if you see we are making the inner join so this will return a table and we are setting a alias for it p stats inner join sys indexes on index id and at the same time we are matching the object id also So this will give table or view and this one will give idea of the index. So we are joining this index view with the p stats. P stats is nothing but the um, table returned by the function dmdb index physical stats. So now we have the joined data ready with us now we can pick column in our select list of course here we have the where condition that tells p stats dot average fragmentation in percent greater than 30 and index id is greater than zero so here we include valid indexes by specifying the index id greater than zero and if you see l axis that is our uh, sys indexes from there we get index id db name p states the database id and we call it as database name database name will be adventure works if you need you can retrieve it or you can skip then object name this is required it tells the table or view on which index was created then we specify the index name as well because these two information is required so that 
you can tell your DBA that on this specific table and this specific index is fragmented and the fragmentation is more than 30 percentage. Then we are getting the index type description and average percentage. So here it's just a number more than 30 percentage and to know exactly the percentage of fragmentation we need this in the select list as well. Now let's go to the demo. Alright, let's uh, first use the adventure works and here adventure works 2012. So here we use and if you see this is the function and from the tooltip you can see it's a table valued function and we pass database ID as adventure works and all remaining parameter we are passing the default but if you need a specific from the tooltip you can see the first uh, field is database ID, the second one is object ID and third one is index ID, partition number. You can collect information for specific index on a specific table by making use of the first three parameter at the rate database ID, at the rate object ID and at the rate index ID. Alright, now let's see execute this and so that's the function call right that function call returns a table of data and you can see how many column it is returning so from this returned column we will make use of average fragmentation in percentage to decide which index that needs uh, defragmentation so the table provides us the fragmentation, I mean the uh, average fragmentation in percentage, in the statistics. And if we need to know more about the index, we can make use of the sysindex. And if you see, it tells uh, clustered, non-clustered index heap. So this is what we are avoiding. And when index ID is greater than zero, the time we will uh, take the information. And here, if you see object ID name, all this information will be useful when we are uh, mapping that with the table valued function. So the list of value which we are interested in this is index is index ID name type description is disabled it's of course there in this column list but uh, we will pick only selective column and these are all the information we are going to use against the table join with the table valued function now we can join these two information. Let me open a new query. And here, if you see, as already told, the return value of this specific one that is participating in the from class, and we name that as p stats. And we are making a join with the sys indexes. We say alias as ixs, and this one is stats there are two alias one is the alias for table valued function and another one is the alias for uh, sys indexes view so we are making the join based on p stats whatever is the table valued function is returning here we have index id right we are picking that and from the sys indexes 
we make use of the index id so this will help us to perform the join we make use of object id as well so here the inner join is based on these two mapping column we are mapping index id and we are mapping object id as well and in the filter part if you see average fragmentation in percentage we are making sure it should be 30 or more than 30 and the index id should be more than zero so wherever you see zero we are skipping that see all these are heap so we are skipping the heap and we pick a clustered and a non clustered indexes by means of this filter here uh, it's obvious that it states that we want to see all the indexes that is fragmented more than 30 percentage you can change this number if you want to visit indexes with uh, 10 to 20 percent so you can add more condition here and these are all the call up we are picking from the result of this join so index id we are picking db name database id object name object id because here if you see the object id is not that much useful right so to get meaningful name we use the object name here db name index name index type description and a percentage let's see is there any index that is fragmented of more than 30 percent in adventure works there is nothing here and let's go with north wind So here it is Adventure Works 2012. So, we are at a master table, right? We will say use adventure works. So, now it will tell what are all the index that is fragmented more than 30%. All right, so these are all the indexes. And if you see, we have index ID here, object name, product description, database log, and this is the index name. And just by looking at this, say for example, let us take store, database name is Adventure Works, index name is AK store row guid that's a 66 percent and if i go to adventure work 2012 i can expand it can be either view or table we should further look at this object name i mean object type also we can use to know whether it is table or index i mean table or view for now let me go with the store sales dot store even this is not displaying the schema as well and anyhow we located the store that's the table and the index name is ak store row guid or ix store salesperson id
So if you see these are specific kits here. AK store GYD these two indexes are uh, needs to be rebuilt or revisited. So if you need further detail you can go to the property and look at the indexes index detail. Right. So for now these are all the indexes that needs to be uh, defragmented or uh, we can simply say these are all the highly fragmented indexes by simply changing the database name to pubs we can get details about the pubs database i mean the fragmented index detail here instead of 2001 i'm using the pubs database and when i run i will get fragmented index on the pubs so there is no fragmentation in pubs it seems let me cross check here in the table value also so that's why it doesn't give anything we will use northwind North wind so north wind contains some fragmentation so And if you see, these are all the indexes on Northwind uh, database. And object name tells what are all the table. Say, for example, the customer table, PK customer. The index name itself states it's a primary key, PK customer. So that's fragmented 33%. And in the orders table, the index name is customer ID. Here, they specified just a column name, uh, column name as index name. So it's ED easy to identify or we can even browse as we did previously with adventure works that's all this is a way to find uh, the highly fragmented indexes just now you saw the demo thank you for watching bye